What kind of changes you've seen in longevity field in the last three years? Because for me, it's been transformational, even if I compare this to where we started 36 months ago. But for you as someone who's been there for decades, uh, how do you see what, what kind of progress we made uh, uh, in the last three years? Yeah, uh, in the last three years, we've made more progress than probably the rest of the years combined. Uh, it's been, and, and this is typical for, for any area of biology, but particularly in this one, um, I, 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 I'm an optimist, so I, I, I expect exponential change, but even I feel like things are going way faster than, than I expected. My head's spinning, to be honest. So some of the advances include, I've talked about the reprogramming work that is... Uh, one that I think is going to make a big difference. There's lots of labs now, Nobel Prize winner, winners are now working on this as well. It's a lot of money being pumped into that area. The ability to measure age accurately has really taken off. Uh, you know, that was discovered back in 2012, but now it's routine. You can even have your self tested now. Uh, and we have clocks for a whole variety of tissues in mouse and human. Um, and other clocks as well, I should mention, We Going back 10 years ago, even four years ago, we didn't have these clocks. We, we, all we could do is say, yeah, that person looks old. That's pretty pathetic, right? Well, that person is frail. Now we have these, these measures and th there's a variety of clocks I, I won't go into. Uh, another advance in the aging field would be the senolytics, the ability to delete senescent cells in mouse and, and now in humans, which is super exciting that there's new peptides, small, small proteins that are circulating through the blood that look drug-like are going into clinical trials now. Alevion is one of those companies. Um, and, and there are lots of others that have been discovered that seem to have benefits. Cobar, in full disclosure, I'm on the advisory board of that company. They have a peptide that looks good for metabolic diseases. So th these have all happened very recently. And uh, I think autophagy has now shown by, it's been shown by Maria, um, Anna Maria Cuervo, that she can extend the lifespan of mice by activating chaperone-mediated autophagy or CMA, clearing out the proteins that are misfolded in the body or damaged. And all of these together, I, I think, are you know, collectively a revolution in our ability to not just understand why we age, but also how to, to slow it down and reverse that process. Amazing. Oh, oh I um, want to say, actually, so here, what's interesting please. is about three, four years ago, I gave a talk at Stanford, and the title was On Aging Reversal. And I was criticized. I couldn't, it was the first time someone used the word reversal and aging together. And now it's routine, but you know, it's, it was the dark ages just those few years ago. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I'm just reflecting on our three years here in Longevity Vision Fund. When we started, people thought we're crazy. Like just a few other guys who are doing the same things like Laura Deming or Jim Mellon. Right now we have a huge inflow of big pharma interest who's just looking at their portfolio and and potential longevity side effect of their portfolio. 